TurboCore, the world's first magnetic bearing, oil-free centrifugal compressor for air conditioning applications. From Danfoss, engineering tomorrow. Safety precautions must be observed during the installation, startup, and service of the compressor due to the presence of pressure and voltage hazards. Only qualified and trained personnel should install, start up, and service Danfoss TurboCore compressors. This step-by-step -step service tutorial will guide you through the verification of IGV function and the IGV motor. The inlet guide vane assembly is used to control the compressor capacity at low load conditions. It can range from 0 to 110% open. The IGV position is determined by the BMCC and controlled from the serial driver sending power to the IGV motor. If the IGV position indicator does not align with the displayed percentage in the service monitoring tool, the IGV functionality and motor should be verified. Additional details can be found in the service manual or the TurboTool app. Begin by disconnecting the compressor interlock and chiller controller connections from the I.O. board to prevent interference from external sources during testing. Remove the service side cover. Using a multimeter set for DC voltage measurement, verify the 15 volt test points on the backplane to ensure correct voltage is supplied to the serial driver to operate the IGV motor. Using the service monitoring tool, set the compressor control mode to manual. In the IGV open percentage control box, set the value to 110 and press enter. The value should increase until reaching 110%. At the same time, the IGV indicator ball should move to the open position, and all four IGV LEDs on the backplane will be flashing. In the IGV open percentage box, set the value to zero and press enter. The value should decrease until reaching zero percent. At the same time, the IGV indicator ball should move to the closed position, with all four IGV LEDs on the backplane flashing. If the IGV indicator ball does not fully move to the open or closed position, there may be an electrical or mechanical issue within the IGV. If all four of the LEDs are not flashing, the IGV motor should be verified. Before verifying the IGV motor, remove power from the compressor. Disconnect the suction sensor cable by pushing down slightly, pressing the tab, and then pulling the connector upward. Loosen the retainer clip over the IGV motor connector and pull it up, off of the feed-through. Using a multimeter set for resistance, measure at pins 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. The resistance should be 46 to 59 ohms. Then check each bearing coil's resistance to ground and between coils. Resistance should be open. Physical inspection of the IGV may be required to verify its operation. Follow standard refrigerant recovery procedures prior to removing the IGV. Remove the IGV from the compressor to inspect the internal components. Inspect for damage that could prevent normal operation with the wiring, worm gear, throat assembly, and blades. This concludes the Danfoss TurboCore IGV and IGV motor verification presentation. For more information on Danfoss TurboCore products and service documentation, please visit us online at turbocore.com.